So those of you who are preparing for UPSC or for any other uh, judicial, uh, judicial services examination, how you need to understand, first, the, the, the tools that you must have ready with you. Right? Tools are formal. That must be part of your answer script because this is where you're going to score better than your competitors. Source, that means the number of the provision. Where is the law is the first thing that a law student should be aware of itself. Article 368. But the question is, is it the only source? The question is that can the constitution be amended only through the provision of Article 368? If let's say there is a UPSC question which in its preliminary asks that that constitution can be amended one only by Article 368, two, Article 368 and Article 4, 3, Article 368 and other Provision of Constitution, specifically providing for amendment for Article 367. A. A, one and two are correct. B, three is correct. C, one, two, three, four is correct. D, two and Four is correct. What is the right answer? What answer is the right answer? Number one, that means the question is Constitution of India can be amended. Answer number one, only by Article 368. Answer number two, Article 368 and Article 364. Answer number three, Article 368 and other provisions of Constitution specifically providing for the amendment. And Article 4, Article 3, uh, sorry, and answer number 4 is Article 377, 367. Now you have these options. Which one is the correct answer? So B. B means Article 368 and 364. Uh, and Article no, 4, uh, the B is 3, yes, B is 3. Correct, sorry, B is 3. So does everyone agree?